Hey, what's up, y'all? I just wanted to share something with y'all. You know, I've been in three accidents uh, in my trucking career. Like I said, I started trucking in 2015. But all the accidents that I've been in have been avoidable, man. You know what happened? Every time I got in an accident, there's times where I was being too confident. I was feeling myself too much. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. What the What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Oh, used to be beautiful. I've been in three trucking accidents, but all of them has been avoidable since this young man been in the trucking since 2015. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hey, what's up, y'all? I just wanted to share something with y'all. You know, I've been in three accidents uh, in my trucking career. Like I said, I started trucking in 2015. But all the accidents that I've been in have been avoidable, man. You know what happened? Every time I got in an accident, there's times where I was being too confident. I was feeling myself too much. I was moving around town, swinging, just swinging the truck, swinging the hell out the truck. You know, I know what I'm doing, all that. And all the accidents I got into, I seen it happen before it happened. But each time it happened, I seen the car, but I'm, like I said, being arrogant, being a truck driver, telling myself, oh, they see this big truck, they're going to stop when they see this truck. Only problem is they didn't stop three different times. One time <clears throat> I was making it right on a tight corner. I was in the, in the city, in Nashville, tight corner. I was making it right, so I, was, I moved over to the left a little bit. I was hogging the lane. The, uh, the lane divider, the line was in the middle of the truck because I'm about to turn right. And I seen in the mirror. I knew that lady, lady wasn't even thinking about what I was doing. I had my signal on and everything, and I knew that when I was over, the scooted over, she was gonna try to squeeze to the right. But I told myself, hey, I'm gonna start making this turn, and when she see that, that trailer swinging, she gonna stop. Man, I start making that damn turn. This lady run right into the damn side of the truck, basically. <sighs> Crazy, man. But yeah, so it could have been avoidable. I could have just took more time, you know what I mean, and let stuff play out how I play, but I was in a hurry, I was feeling myself, so y'all just remember that, man. Every time I start getting too cocky, too confident out there on the road, I stop, I really, I, this is what I do, I stop and I tell myself, bro, chill out. Like, yeah, you cool right now, but- And you still driving, my guy. <laughs> Drivers, I don't know, man. This, this driver right here looks like he's on that good, good right now, man. Says that he was involved in about three accidents that was probably could have been avoidable, you know, still, you know, still doing his thing, still driving and all like that. But I, I honestly can't tell, you know, if this Goodwill driver right here is, is acclimated, man. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's funny, man, because like I said, he's explaining what's going on, being in three accidents you know it's it's not a funny it's not a joke it's not a joke joke you know being a truck driver it, it, it's serious out here you know what i'm saying you, you gotta be more focused you gotta be paying attention and everything you know you gotta know your surroundings while you out here driving and a lot of drivers just don't just don't pay attention but that's not go that let's not let's not say that it's us drivers that don't pay attention because we have a lot of four wheelers out there that don't pay attention either a lot of them be putting on makeup a lot of them be on their phones a lot of them be texting a lot of them be doing a lot of stuff they're not supposed to be doing you know and sometimes you know they can veer off to the left to the right cut us off without even paying attention to what they is actually doing it's messed up it's messed up Hey, real quick to all y'all out there with your pickup truck, you got your little trailer on the back, whether it's your lawnmower or whatever. I know sometimes the lights don't work, you're like, ah, whatever, I'll get to that later. Bro, get them goddamn lights fixed. I'm on this damn highway right here, speed limit 65, bro. I damn near smashed his ass just now. I got up a little closer, his pickup light blinker was on. Bro, but get the goddamn trailer light fixed. I ain't trying to run over y'all motherfuckers. And I don't want you to get hurt, bro. I really don't. And I don't want one of my CDL people losing their license because you don't want to get the goddamn lights fixed. Come on, baby. 
my man says he ain't trying to run over you guys but bro you doing it all wrong man there's a lot of red flags going on in your video right now man right now you you doing it wrong bro and I'm, I'm 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 happy that you didn't get into that accident with that with that four-wheeler that had the trailer in the back that you almost smashed into but dude man you 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 coming on tiktok showing unprofessionalism in trucking right now man number one no seat belt you don't have no seat belt on bruh you don't have no seat belt on man even if you would have smashed into that car you would have been probably out the window you know that's number one should always wear a seat belt no matter what you know whether you're in a truck car van rv you should always wear your seat belt and have one of them little knife on the side of you so in case you do get into an accident and the seat belt just happened to jam you could just cut that bad boy and get on out but dude right here don't even have all that going on man no seat belt no nothing driving down the highway y'all willy-nilly number two man phone in the hand how much that i can tell you guys that you can't drive with your phone in your hand now bro you already show who you work for you work for goodwill well maybe maybe you was just by a goodwill truck i don't know but by you having your phone in your hand you showing the world that you that that you doing ill stuff right now which give people pause when they see that especially people that been affected by truck drivers in the past that has accidents here you are once again no seat belt and now you got your phone in your hand you, you you're doing it wrong people gonna see this they're gonna turn around and say okay dude works for goodwill we just gonna email this information showing goodwill that this driver don't need to be on the road don't need to be on the road now the first video that i that i commented on i kind of say that you know you you know that good good might be working with you but i don't know i don't know we're not speculating or anything like that i'm what i'm here to say is bro do it right man do it right because a lot of us truck drivers are are being stereotyped as unprofessionalized we're not doing what we're supposed to do we doing live feeds we doing tiktoks we doing everything that that that's going to mess up our cdl other than doing what we supposed to be doing and that is being focused on the road driving and number three no hands on the wheel bro no hands on the wheel a good bump a good chuck hole a good anything would lead you to not control the vehicle look at you hands all off the wheel you're not doing it bro you're not doing it I, I need you to do better driver i need you to do better man please please for the sake of safety i need you to do better my radio believe me i like it loud i'm the man with the rocks that can rock the crowd walking down the street to the heart